Hi hey guys, I wanted to do a review of the Biddy Twins from 2003. And the story is that these Biddy Twins were introduced to the American Girl line as toddler twins. And they just had one set uh, that came with blonde hair and blue eyes. Okay, so I decided to name this twin Logan Sterling. And her name is Cheyenne Sheridan. And so um, I ended up getting these Biddy Twins in 2013 because I wanted African American Biddy Twins. Um, and I also wanted Caucasian Biddy Twins. But at the time, I wasn't really seeing any Biddy Twins on the secondary market. And especially since I knew that I could purchase Biddy Twins in the store at the time. And I really liked how the Biddy Twins were displayed at the time that I bought my own uh, brand new in box. So she was wearing this outfit and the boy was wearing this outfit in the stores. So as soon as I saw them in their cute little outfits, I thought I have to have Biddy Twins of my own. And so even with the little dog, this is called a lovey in real life. I like the fact that all of their accessories were true to that of a toddler, what a toddler would hold on to and actually play with. I also like the 2003 Biddy Twins because I thought their lines were so creative or their line was so creative where they had overalls with real buckles and this is real metal. And I like the embroidery on their clothing because when you look at little kids and their clothes, their, their clothes are so cute. And they usually have uh, corduroys for durability and for warmth. And they also have little cute emblems on them, such as like cars for the boys and flowers for the girls. And so I know everything nowadays needs to be more gender neutral, but I'm one of those old school people where I think flowers, there's nothing wrong with flowers. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with cars. Um, I just feel like the classic things are still nice um, to have. Like I have a little uh, toddler boy running around and I put him in a lot of gender neutral things, but I still stay true to the classics like trains and automobiles because those are things that he likes to play with. And so even though I introduced Biddy Twins to him where he has his own set, um, he usually scuffs them up pretty good. He doesn't really play gingerly with them. Um, every now and then I'll see him like maybe hug the doll or feed the doll. But um, when it comes to his trucks and his uh, Duplos and Legos and things like that, he's usually more interested in that. So um, that's one thing I wanted to bring up with the Biddy Twins is that their toys and accessories as well as their clothes um, they did such a good job designing their line because it was only until I had a toddler of my own and had nieces and nephews and cousins that were also toddlers that I started realizing how cute the line was. Um, so I'll show you what I liked about, or I already told you what I liked about the first set of twins that came out in 2003. I thought their line was very clever. Uh, the clothing was very nice. I like the fact that they have like little snow suits and toboggans. And I think they even had a tricycle at one point in time. Um, I don't have any of those things. I do have a few of their outfits, but nothing like the accessories that they had for their line, um, which were really great, I heard. So if I could find any of their accessories, that would be great. But one thing I did like about the Biddy Twins for 2003 that I didn't mention was the haircuts. I like the fact that the little girl has like a little bob and she has a ponytail at the very top because sometimes little kids don't have a whole lot of hair to play with or uh, sometimes the parents want to keep the hair short or cut short because little kids can get messy very quickly. And so I do like the fact that these Biddy Twins were true to uh, the original set that came out in 2003. And uh, their wigs aren't 
in the best condition. I mean, like you can tell that their wigs are a little dry on the dry side. Um, so if, you know, you scuff them up or, or kind of play with them rough uh, in a rough sense, they're going to get messed up. But um, if you're just displaying them or keeping them on display, their hair pretty much lays flat. Um, I like the fact that when you turn them around, their outfits are really nice even in the back. And you can see that these twins aren't in perfect condition, but they're pretty good for being so old. Um, these are really old bitty twins, so I like that a lot. Um, I like the fact that they say pleasant company and their eyelashes are brown as opposed to blonde or black. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I like about this line, um, the modern Biddy Twins, or what was the modern Biddy Twins for 2013, because they diversified the Biddy Twin line in 2008. It took them five years to diversify the American Girl line for Biddy Twins. So American Girl still has a long way to go when it comes to fair play and diversity. It should not have taken them five years to have African American, Asian American, or Hispanic Biddy Twins, but that was the case. So um, I'm going to show you guys what I like about their line as compared to the 2003 line. Okay, so the first thing I liked about the 2013 Biddy Twin line was that they had really nice hair accessories. I ended up buying a lot of these hair accessories, um, knowing that one day I would probably get this kind of Biddy Twin, and I would want to put like a little bow or some kind of accessory in her hair. And I had to buy a couple of these just because it didn't make sense that they only had one for each color because with the modern Biddy Twins you can tell that she has the two adorable curly ponytails on each side of her hair where the original Biddy Twin did not. She just had the little top ponytail so it made sense that they only gave you one color but for the modern Biddy Twins you would almost have to buy two of these for it to make sense because her part even though it stops right here at the top of her head, she still doesn't have a lot of hair in the back um, where, you know, it doesn't give you a lot of hair to play with. So you really are forced to leave her hair in pigtails. So that's one thing I did like about the modern Biddy Twins was that you could buy these hair accessories and if you had an old Biddy Twin like her, you could still use the modern hair accessories for the older Biddy Twins. Okay, so the next thing I liked about the modern Biddy Twin line, which was the 2013-14 line, was the accessories that they came out with. Like this is almost like a Duplo accessory where it comes apart. And it even gives you a little activity book. And this is like an advent calendar where you can open it up and it has different uh, windows that you can look into for your advent calendar display for a Christmas countdown. So this was really cute because um, you it came with the Christmas outfit and you didn't have to pay extra for this cute accessory. And it's actually something that he could play with. Like it's not too big for him to model and it's not too small for a child to enjoy uh, playing with this accessory set so that the pieces get lost. I really like that. Okay, another thing that I really liked about the Biddy Twin line for the modern Biddy Twins is that you could take Biddy Baby items that were featured in the catalog or in pictures and you could actually pair them with the twins. So not only can she have a lovey, because the Biddy twin had a lovey um, that year that this came out, which was the Biddy Baby's first holiday set, um, but the Biddy twins used to have their own loveys. So unfortunately, I only was able to get this one before it sold out, but I wasn't able to get the girl's lovey 
and her lovey was a kitten but this almost looks like a kitten but it's really a polar bear so um it came with with its own little snowman set and outfit that i could put all together um so the bitty twin line really kind of uh, held on to those loveys and i really like that Okay, another thing that I really liked about um, the modern day Biddy Twins is that you could also, again, pair it with the Biddy Baby stuff where it has a number one candle, candle or faux candle, and you can actually add that to um, the donut display. And these are stackable donuts, and they're pretty heavy and sturdy. So if you wanted to use these with the older Biddy Twins, you actually could do that and still give them the party that they deserve. But again, that would come a lot later. That didn't come out around 2003. You would have to wait almost 10 years later to see a set like this for the Biddy Twins or any kind of Biddy Baby. Okay, and the last comparison are the books. In the old days, you would get a hardcover book for the Biddy Twins, along with their sets. Like this little set right here came with the slippers and the uh, gown. And then this is a soft cover book. And even though it's equally as cute as the first one, you can see that American Girl was skimping not only on the size of the book, but also the quality, a hard cover versus a soft cover. All right, so there are like a lot of uh, differences and pluses and minuses to the Biddy Twin line, but if you can find an older set of Biddy Twins and you can track down some of their older sets and books, that would probably be a really good investment because what you're gonna get from the newer line is that you're gonna get a lot of the same stuff American Girl makes right now uh, these days, but you're gonna miss some of the quality of the old Biddy Twin line that used to be. So um, I hope this review helps. I hope you guys do consider uh, picking up secondhand Biddy Twins because I know I'm really happy with mine and I'm happy to track down any of their sets or collections that I can find that have to do with their outfits, especially since I see how cute they are. All right, so I wish you guys the best of luck and happy searching and happy collecting.